this is white. This is white. If white people look like this, they'd be dead to the world. No human being can exist as a white man or woman. White. Could you imagine seeing a yellow man walk across the stage? Or maybe a red woman? Red, like the color red. This might seem stupid to look at. Now people want red and yellow and black and white. But somehow, based on the training, based on the education, we deal with each other like this every day. You're black, you're white, you're red, you're yellow. And according to the truth, none of us are any of the colors that we're saying we are. But yet we're willing to fight and die for whatever color you've been categorized into. I look at myself. I think I see brown. I think I see brown. The light that's coming off of my hand tells my eyes that this is brown. Here's black up against brown. My education says that I'm black. My intelligence sees brown. So now when you go back to Black History Month, look at it. Black History Month. Is that the history of this color? If it's the history of a people, well then what is this color really equated to in our society? And then we can define the people based on the definition of the color. When you sit down to define yourself and you say, what are you? I'm an Afro-American. Where's, where's the validity to your title? What are you fighting for? Because whatever you call yourself is what you're going to fight for. Whatever you call yourself is what you will defend. I'm an Afro-American. That bears no weight, nowhere. There's no Afro-American Congress. There's no Afro-American Army. There's no Afro-American medical or law school. There's no Afro-American nothing but what we say it is. African-American. Number one, Africa has handed you life. America has handed you death. When you put the two together, African-American, look at it. Picture it in your mind. Africa and America are at total war with each other. Total war. One is a parasite to the other. If Africa is free, America is in bondage. And if America is free, Africa is in bondage. They do not get along. It is two entirely different psychologies altogether. East and West. African American is like saying living dead. Walking around with the title, one giving you life, one giving you death. What are you fighting for? I'm fighting for Africa, but America. I was born in America, so that makes me an American. Wrong. Actually, a prophet once said, if a cat has kittens in the oven, you don't call them biscuits. <laughs> However, many people still go on and say, I'm, a, I'm an American because I was born in America. Have we even analyzed the title America? Who in this room is really an American? Really? The closest thing we're going to get to an American is an American Indian. And they don't call this place America, though. Nor are they Indians. That's something Columbus named them. They didn't call themselves Indians. Like, we never called ourselves black. 